Here's the integral that we're going to evaluate for this video. If you want to give it a try, go ahead and pause the video, and I'll be right back. If this 4 were a 1, they would have cosine squared x plus sine squared x. That would equal to 1 over 1, then. The answer would be x plus a constant. But it's not that easy here. Try to look for a u substitution here, and I think we'll divide the numerator and denominator by cosine squared of x. I'm going to divide the numerator then by cosine squared of x. The same thing with the denominator. So this will be, this term will be divided by cosine squared. And this will be divided by cosine squared. So this then will become 1 over cosine squared, cosine and secant are reciprocal. So 1 over cosine squared is the same thing as secant squared in the numerator. And so here cosine squared of x and cosine squared of x, those divide out. I get 4 and sine squared of x over cosine squared of x. That's your tangent. And both of those are squared, so this would be tangent. Tangent squared of x. And we know the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So I'm going to rewrite this. The same thing, except a different form here, like that. And I'm going to let u equal to tangent of x. So du would be tangent squared, secant squared of x. And now I have my dx here. So I know then, then, that secant squared of x, dx, can be replaced by du. So right here, I've got secant squared dx. So in the numerator, that can be replaced by du. In the denominator, I've got a 4 plus, and then tangent, that's your u. So I can write this as u squared. And then I'm going to use this formula here. I've used it before in some other videos. The integral of du over some number squared, say a squared, plus u squared. It's the same thing as hug 10. Whatever u is over a. And then the coefficient is 1 over a, whatever a is. And then plus your constant of integration. So in our case, u is tangent x. And you can see a squared is 4. So a is 2. So this is going to equal to then 1 over a. And again, in our case, a is 2. And then it's arc 10. u over a, but u in our case is tangent of x over a. a is 2. And then it's plus your constant of integration. So the final answer for this one is 1 half arc 10 or tangent inverse of tangent x over 2 plus your constant of integration c. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.